To even say that this wasn't the best intro to a series would be the most ignorant thing I think anyone could ever say. Because what this first episode of Oshinoko just delivered today was absolutely astronomical. Holy crap. It was like out of this world. I expected like great things from it you know um i don't know i know that sentai is licensing it uh, i know the studios um the daga kobo i don't know what exactly they've done per se but i've seen the trailers you know i've watched everything i i read the manga i i was i was pumped we get into this right 90 minutes so it was like 84 minutes but 90 minute first episode right and i don't want to go too deep into this video because i want everybody to enjoy this first episode as an experience and then next week when it comes to episode two i will start diving into full episode reviews but with this one i just kind of want to talk about the setup with it you know with the fact that like you get pretty much the premise of your main characters both of them and it starts off, you know, kind of with just how his life kind of was, which also coincidentally intertwined with the other character. And when uh, after that all is said and done, we meet our, I guess, third main character for all. And like their, their, their fates are all intertwined and they have these like, subtle things that are going on consistently like the fact that there's a bread trail of like what's happening at the end of this episode and between that and just the fact of like setting up for future plots and almost like closing all these ties and understandings of why things are going to be the way they are and pushing you like this episode almost felt like it was like kind of like okay here's this all this information you need here's a little tidbit of this information from this character's life here's a little bit from this person's life and all right out the door we go here's the actual main premise of the series and they did such a fantastic job with it. The animation was great. The voice acting was supreme. And they even had this nice little after credit scene that really was just a chef's kiss on top of what they already delivered to us. Honestly, I could see this being one that goes down in history as one of the best of all time. At least opening episodes. I could see this being one of the best of all time, period. But for opening episodes, yes. I know right now on Mal, if I'm not mistaken, this is ranked at number one. And I get the hype. Like with Chainsaw Man and everything with all those. I remember all that. But I could see this at least staying in the top 100 after it airs. Oh, it was so nice. Like I said, next week, we're going to actually talk about it. But I just want to get that off my chest. Please, please, please go watch the first episode of Oshinoko. You're not going to regret it. If you do, I apologize. But for real, absolute perfectness. And, you know, even if you're not into the whole idol thing, it's, I mean, honestly, in, in my personal opinion, that's just like, you know, it's like, feels like the main, you know, premise at first but once you kind of really get into it you understand the nitty gritty of the plot of the series and really get to know why it is the way it is and how it is if that makes any sense but yes watch this uh, let me know what you guys thought of it honestly because i want to know what other people's opinions are other than my freaking little biased opinion on the series matter so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, um, subscribe if you, you know, really enjoy it. I appreciate it very much. And if you didn't, well, thanks for staying this long. It means a lot to me. And uh, we will see everyone in the next video here. Uh, this has been Squids. Peace.